Good morning, everybody. Um, day three uh, of our Edit uh, Vivaldi Violin Concerto Everyday Challenge during um, this period of lockdown. Uh, yesterday, uh, I had started, just started, um, editing the, 11, uh, the 10th Concerto of uh, La Stravaganza in C minor. I'd finished the first Ritonello by the time we made a little video. And now, there we go. Old concerto is finished. Um, in actual fact, I had two sources that I was working with yesterday. I had the, the publication from 1716, and also um, uh, we had a manuscript in Vivaldi's pupil, Pizendel's handwriting in Dresden, the one that, uh, that I said Vivaldi's dog had at his homework. Um, interestingly, actually, if, uh, if we've got any suggestions as to what Vivaldi's dog might have been, that would be very... That would be uh, something to uh, amuse ourselves during the day. Maybe you might think it was a, a little West Highland Terrier, or maybe it was a big dog that ate the postman when he came to deliver some new manuscript paper. But if you've got any suggestions, that would be marvellous. Um, so, uh, in actual fact, looking at the Dresden manuscript, uh, should we call it the dog manuscript from now on? Um, uh, it, there are so many differences between the Dresden manuscript and, and the publication that I will actually think I think I'll make another file for a separate version of the Dresden concerto. Haven't done that one yet, but uh, today we are, funnily enough, the first uh, working on a concerto in D major. The first concerto in the catalogue um, is RV two hundred and three, and I can't do that because the violin part's missing. Uh, Nicola Mateus, um, if you heard our broadcast on In Tune the other day, we played some Nicola Mateus, uh, who was born in London but spent most of his career in Vienna, was the leader of the orchestra there and wrote all the ballet music for all the big operas and stuff. Um, he was probably the guy that played all the solo Vivaldi concertos that Vivaldi composed for the Imperial Court, so it's probably Mateus that walked off with the solo part, so it's his fault that I can't edit that piece, because uh, it it's a bit silly editing a piece for which there's no solo part. So, uh, the next concerto is actually the next concerto uh, in the Stravaganza set, number 11. So we've got D major, um, D major concerto number 11, RV204, if that kind of thing floats your boat. Um, obviously floats mine. Uh, so, uh, just a bit of the first solo and, and a bit of a written alley for you. Here we go. There you go. Uh, I've actually uh, been pressing on this morning. Finished the first movement already. Um, it's a, it's a very, it's a, it's a brilliant piece, um, and probably um, might have even been written considerably earlier than the publication of seventeen sixteen. There's sort of several elements that are sort of very, very uh, Lestro and Monaco esque, um, and also the inclusion of another solo violin from time to time, um, sort of. Uh, suggests it might might be a little bit earlier than 1716. So um, just uh, yeah, so that's it. I'll I'll crack on with this. Um, just a reminder for why we're posting posting all these highly interesting videos about the Valdi violin concertos. We are raising money to help uh, musicians at the moment uh, on global giving. You can look at all the Serenis Last Serenis's website, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everything. It's got links to the crowdfund that we are uh, conducting at the moment. It's really important if you're gonna give us some money, and we really hope you do, uh, that if you can do it by um, Friday evening, then Global Giving will give us an extra extra bit on top. So if you could do that, that'd be marvelous. Um, all right, see you tomorrow, bye.